Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host and I hope you had a great start into the week and today we will cover the secret investment happening in Texas, the secret project that Tesla is actually working on. Then we will look into um, news coming from China. We will look into Kathy Wood. We will look into the Model S and we will further look at the end of the video into some SpaceX and great Starlink news. And if you um, do enjoy that, if you subscribe my channel, you give me support for my work and I hope you follow me for my daily updates now. So let's start with today's video guys and we will start first of all with some good news coming from China because as Tesla is expanding further and further, selling more and more um, cars on mainland China, it is so important to expand the supercharging network and they are actually doing that right now. They have achieved um, right now a number of 6,000 supercharger stations and with the factory that we all know is already producing a new supercharger um, every single day in China. Um, this network will approximately increase really fast. So um, really good news because customers in uh, China have to stay happy um, and they are um, yeah having high demand and they want to have the superchargers so they have no um, range anxiety with such a great um, and big land and distances that needs to be covered. So 6,000 is um, still a small number, but we do see that Tesla is expanding really fast. Coming to Kathy Wood, we do have actually news that, um, two news actually, um, Arc Invest has invested one more time um, around 20,000 Tesla shares. They have bought 20,000 Tesla shares again. They have done that many times many times when the stock was going down. Today we are trading at around $586 at the moment. So again, guys, I don't know where the price will be in a week. I don't know where it's going to be in a month, but still I do see that here as a good buying opportunity based on my personal opinion. Again, it's your decision to do your own research. It's just my personal opinion and no financial advice. So um, she, um, uh, Ark Invest is investing more and furthermore, Kathy Wood will be um, giving a new price target to Tesla very soon. So we have to stay tuned to that. Another uh, great news is that we finally now have um, pretty good signs from Fremont coming that the Model S will be actually delivered very soon. The new Model S plate seems to be ready right now. And this is looking really good um, that they are moving that fast. Um, so that is good news. Um, I'm really excited to see the first people experiencing the new Model S and soon the Model X. So as we have covered those news, um, we will go into the more secret Tesla project um, they are working on right now. And it's quite astonishing because it's just a few weeks ago that I have mentioned that I believe that the situation we had in the United States when the winter was hitting everyone and it was getting so cold in Texas um, that the utility companies had issues to actually um, keep the grid uh, going. Um, I was telling um, in a video that I believe it is really important that the politics and taxes move towards um, yeah, green energy and they're going to do something about it. And there were some people um, arguing that this is not going to be so easy. And again, guys, I do agree when politics, governments and big companies are working together and it is a big lobby out there that wants to prevent um, green energy to happen. It's really hard to disrupt such a market. And we have seen that with Tesla many times. Again, right now, Tesla is working um, in partnership with another company on a pretty big storage area, guys. And it is in Texas, Angleton. Angleton is a pl pretty um, small town um, and they're going to have a battery storage that is going to be able to um, have 100 megawatts. Just as a reminder, the Australian storage that they had um, 
built a few years ago in Australia was the biggest one in the world at that time and had also 100 megawatts. So now they do that in Texas and this is going to help more than 20,000 homes when at peak times or in low times they can actually um, yeah, store the energy over there and just um, have a more, more stable grid. So again, it doesn't solve the entire issue of the um, situation we experienced or people in Texas experienced um, a few weeks ago. But again, I think it's some sign that the business of mega packs and the storage is just it's just massive guys and we shouldn't underestimate the value that Tesla can get out there because they are competing so badly that I don't see big competition in this area anytime soon. So with these great um, news here, we do see that um, Tesla is expanding businesses in Texas and as we are looking at the Giga Austin in Texas and thanks to Jeff Roberts for the footages, we do see that Elon is actually investing more and more in projects that are in Texas and we will cover that with Starlink in a moment as well because they do that actually as well in SpaceX too. So there is so much happening in Texas right now. It's it's must be really exciting for all those who are from Texas and if there are some people here um, Let me know if you're from Texas and tell me how it feels that such a company is moving so fast and is developing and bringing a country forward in um, Doing something so great. So looking into Starlink guys um, So Starlink is going to build a factory for all the hardware needed for the end users so Yes, they have the satellites flying, but you need to have um, all the um, materials and stuff that you're going to send the customers so that they can finally um, install everything at home and get um, the internet over the Starlink satellites. And they're going to build a factory. No idea how big it's going to be, but this is going to be in Texas too. And furthermore, um, SpaceX has already reached employee numbers of 10,000. So this is also something it's really crazy if you think about where St SpaceX ha has been before. So this was announced uh, due to a court thing going on because of an application and um, some kind of issue over there. So they had to tell um, the court um, how many employees they have. So it, it, they have already 10K right now. That's a lot of and SpaceX is now worth $75 billion. As well, a fact that many people who only concentrate on Tesla or that don't concentrate on anything that is regarding Elon Musk forget that no, it's not only about Tesla, it is also about SpaceX that is already worth $75 billion. It's just a question of time that actually SpaceX will reach a valuation of $100 billion. I tell you that it's going to be maybe another one, two years, but for sure it will happen very soon. So if you combine these informations, if you just see the bigger thing happening here, it is pretty clear that Elon is investing a lot of time into taxes because they're not going to build only one landing or flight facility for the Starship. They're going to build more in taxes and they're going to have um, they're going to have more Starlink um, production happening over there. And if you combine all that, this is this is really exciting, guys. You have the Giga Factory. You're going to have the Boring Company. We have seen materials from the Boring Company being in Austin and at the site at Giga Austin, Texas factory already. So um, there is kind of a connection between all the um, companies that Tesla is working on right now and Elon Musk in this case where is working on. So I believe that in a, in a very soon future, we will see more and more connections between those companies. So guys, take care.